This video will demonstrate the basics of web scraping using Excel. I'm going to start with this tab sheet that has the values in these cells. The US dollar amount, the actual amount we want to convert, and then another label converted. In E1 will end up showing what the conversion amount is. I'm going to position my cursor in A3 and click on the developer tab sheet and then click on the record macro. I'm going to give it a macro name of converter and click OK. Now I need to tell our system to go out to the internet and grab data from a website. Click on the data, get external data link, and then from web. This is the icon you're looking for, from web. This allows you to paste in an address. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger so that you can see it and I will paste in an address that I've already gone out and copied from my browser. Control V on Windows, paste my web link in and then I'll click on Go. If this error message pops up, just click No and it will quit, quit running scripts for that website. There's the website and now I click Import. It then prompts you for where you want to put the data. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my A3 and click OK. All the data is pasted in and there's a lot of data I don't need. So now it's time to clean it up. I'm going to go and grab all the rows that I do not need all the way down to where the currencies are being displayed. And then I'll right mouse click, delete. And then I want to do the same thing for the data below the currencies. And I'm actually going to go ahead and include the US dollar conversion. And I'll delete that. Right mouse click, delete. There's my table. I now have the ability that I can format it even further. I'm going to grab these three cells and press Control B in Windows to bold those cells. I could even sort them if I wanted to by grabbing all the data clicking on the Home tab, the Sort button, Custom Sort. Sort by US per dollars, largest to smallest. We can now see that the Japanese yen is the largest amount that you'll get 100 yen for one US dollar. I can click in the converted area and now we can type in a formula. Equals the dollar amount that we want to convert multiplied by the max value in this column. That now says if we convert a thousand US dollars into the maximum amount, which would be yen, we would get over a hundred thousand yen for our conversion. Now that we have our data there, we need to stop the macro. Click on the developer tab, stop recording. The macro is now in place. We can go test this macro. Let's wipe out the data we got from the website. On this message, you want to click No. We, that way, the data will be refreshed. Now let's go test it. Let's click on the Macros button. Here's our macro, Converter. Let's run it. If you get this error message, click on Debug and you need to de delete this statement. Command type is used for actual queries and this is not applicable. The macro put it in there anyway so let's just delete it and then run it one more time by clicking on the green arrow. Let's come back over to our spreadsheet and notice that even since the conversion the dollar amount has already changed. That's the basics of web scraping. Hope you have fun.